what is up my dogs um let me just do a little disclaimer this video is for me not for any of you guys uh my next video will be old school kanye chipmunk soul breakdown because i love money and i want to have money but this video isn't gonna get any views and that's okay because i'm gonna inspire my subscribers i'm gonna teach you i'll actually learn like a few things making this beat but i'm, I'm gonna teach you stuff that i know now and hopefully I get you guys past beat block. Do you guys remember that I named this series Beating Beat Block? Well, this is actually one of the few videos where I actually had beat block and I couldn't make stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take you guys step by step. I'm, this is a this is a return to form, dude. This is when I first started making videos. It was Beating Beat Block, and it was gonna be like a time lapse of me actually making the beat. But I never actually record. I could never record a video that was good while I was making it. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to teach you guys. We're doing some weirdo experimental stuff today. It's experimental in quotation marks. I'm not doing anything insane, but it's not mainstream. And there's some cool techniques on here. And I'm really proud of this one, even though it kind of sounds a little weird. Anyways, I forgot to say, guys, editor, put this in the front. This beat is inspired by Buckshot Roulette, the little club, the little club in the thing. This this whole thing is inspired by that. Like when I first had the sample done, well, yeah, when I first had the sample done, when I first did the sample, you guys will see this later. Um... What motivated me to chop it in the way that I did and what the effects that I did was the buckshot roulette, just the whole thing. Anyways, uh, try to fit this in wherever next, whatever else I was talking about. Thank you. Starting out, I found this really cool sample. Okay, there's only two samples on here. This beat is kind of response to uh, one guy in sp particular whose name I can't say because um, of doxing stuff. Anyways, he's like, you don't make your own melodies. So I have, I made like three melodies here. Yeah, three melodies here. I don't know. It's like two melodies. I made a couple melodies in here. But first, I wanted to destroy this little drum break here. This little pretty drum break. <laughs> Because before the drum break loops back around, the song starts. So the only way to actually get this drum break would be to chop it. And I tried chopping it on the playlist itself, you know, with the little razor tool and cutting and blah, 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 blah. Did not work. So I slapped it into Slice X and I started to make a little pattern. Let me just first go over. I have it pitched down a little bit. And I have some effects on it. So we have multiband compressor. This is just to make it feel a little robotic, kind of. It's like, it makes it feel more artificial. It's It compresses it. That's how it sounds normally. And we add the compressor onto it. It kind of pops more. Then we have Cymatics Origin to give it some bit crush, some saturation. Like it's just, yeah, make it a little, give it a little more character. I have this, I have these two effects on every single beat or song I've made in like the past couple months, which is kind of sad. But if you guys subscribe to me, if you guys subscribe to me and you comment, um, I could probably get ads and then I can buy new, new plugins. Okay. Then I added some EQ. All this other stuff is for later, but this EQ cuts out the low end. It makes it feel a little more canned, which I actually don't like that much, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then this cymatics thing. Why is this here? Oh, it's to add more saturation on top. Guys, don't don't question the method. You just do stuff, you know? You you you. I want you guys to make a project that's messy and stupid, you know? When you guys... I want you guys to make a stupid project. Anyways, this one cuts off a little more of the low end. But since it's, a, since it's EQ2, the, it, does, it kind of doesn't cut off the low end. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, now that it was chopped, it sounded like this. And I have a couple simultaneous notes playing on top of each other to give it a little more character. I don't want to say it makes it more real because this part right here, that's kind of stupid. But this whole thing is stupid. The file name is called I'm so silly dot FLP. This is, this is an adjective. This whole thing is an adjective. What is going on here? Anyways, I didn't know what to do next. So I went to go look for another sample because the world is beautiful guys and samples grow on trees and nature is beautiful anyways i found i went to samplet.com the website that i use i also use track i have a subscription to tracklib guys tracklib if you're watching this you go ahead and sponsor me dude like my first three mixtapes were built off of tracklib you go ahead and be like uh, um full name and address on screen uh, we want you we want to give you money to use our website i will take that offer i will show Rock bottom ENT, I will show my goons what it's like to hustle 
and use Tracklib. Anyways, I went to filters and I went, I got fancy. I went electronic, classical, and like one other thing I don't remember. And I said France. I wanted some weirdo French electronic stuff from the 70s, which I don't think is a thing. I don't think that they made electronic music in the 70s. Anyways, um, yeah, I found this. This is exactly what I was looking for. But the problem is, it didn't have a lot of attack, it didn't have a lot of force, there wasn't a lot of agency in this beat, this sample. I'm using fancy words so you guys know that I'm the real deal, and you should subscribe to me, and you should comment stuff down below. Okay, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Um, so I reversed the sample, and I did another thing to it. I can't remember right now, hold on, I'm gonna tell you right now. I pitched it up. It's in reverse also. And since I listened to the beginning, I frankly don't know what happens to the rest of the song. Hold on. This song is frankly too scary for me to listen to any more of it. Okay, so I pitch it up three semitones, 300 cents. I don't know the fucking terminology. Sorry for the language, guys. Sorry for the language. Um, so first I, more multiband compressor. Let's actually play this without all the effects so you guys can hear it. It's like softer. And you can still hear the reverse little things. But since the sample is so effed up, man, it's so fricked up, the reverse doesn't even sound that crazy. But what it does is it puts those actual notes on the front. I don't know what the science is behind this, but reversing weak samples makes them stronger. Anyways, I added multi-pen compressor. This just compresses it, dude. It just compresses it. It's just a little magic, you know? Just makes it like, just makes it better. Anyways, then I added Cymatics Origin to make it even grosser, saturation, a little bit of movement, nothing else, just a little bit of low pass. You can barely hear it, it's just texturing. Then reverb to fill it out more. These are just like the stuff that I have to add. This is like mandatory, like put this on the, on the mixer track. Then some EQ just to boost that little middle part. What? Why is it not on? There we go. And it also cuts off some of the high end. Maximus, guys. Maximus is a great plugin. Look at all these presets, dude. You can add, do so much with Maximus. Anyways, I put like a distortion preset on or something, and I just customized it to make it sound nice. Um, with distortion plugins, have patience and have good ears and lower your volume because you're gonna have to work at it a little bit to get a good sound. Unless you just want to make BS industrial ex experimental quotation mark music. Unless you just want to make BS Danny Brown type beats. Put the work into making your compressor sound good because it pays off. Listen to this. It's a little loud, but I made it crunchier. Also, you can see a lot of these mixer track things are down because I'm, I mixed the song. Anyways, Soft Clipper, because I was too loud. And Soft Clipper actually adds compression. That's why don't put Soft Clipper unless you need Soft Clipper. Anyways, this song, this the Soft Clipper actually works to make it more compressed. It makes it sharper. And then lastly, more EQ. But why? I added a bass later. So I can't have the sub frequencies be there. But what's next? Ah, sorry, just a little burp thing happening. I did a little intro. So the chop is this. It's a very simple chop. I don't know what really to say about it. But I guess since it's in reverse, the notes, the, the, the beats hit, and then it's the rest, maybe. So this sounds like something you're drifting by, you know? And then I also have that little chop at the end, which works as the intro. Because this just sounds so distinct from all the other stuff. And I didn't pick that out. Like, they're all kind of sequenced together. This is just kind of the intro part. You can hear it. You can kind of hear it. So I start out with a uh, lower tempo. And since this little intro is so distinct from the rest of it, if I were to go to higher tempo, for example, I'll just I'll just solo this so I don't spoil anything. It's not that crazy of a switch. If we were to just keep it like this, 
it actually sounds slower so we, we do this tempo change it is speeding up technically but to us it kind of sounds like it's the same anyways to give it more like to make it i don't want to say it gave it more groove but a lot of dance stuff has the ducking in the front of the of the melody so i had these little envelopes for volume that's what these are Guys, you know what an envelope is. I'm not going to mansplain to you guys. You guys know. If you guys don't know, you should comment or look up a tutorial online. Anyways, these are volume envelopes. And I did that just to give it a little more pop. This is a little more pop. This gives it a little pop into the first section. And I know that I said, oh, reverse, I did all this emphasis on reversing it and the beats and the rest and the whatever. And then I ducked it out. What was the point? Well, I actually had interest in that little feedback area. So now it just sounds like the whole beat is like the outside of something. Okay, well, now we're back. Yeah, Buckshot Roulette inspired this. And I don't know. I kind of remember there being like, just like that little like scream thing. I don't know. It reminded me of the game. Anyways, I layered my drums on top of here. And that, that's a thing right there, like, that, but it needs the groove, you know? And you can kind of see here a little artifact of it, that the drums here, it's it's this sample, put a light on me zebra, but the drums are down here. Um, I actually put this kick, This it's a four on the floor beat. If you guys want to do this super easy, just press every four steps and it just does it for you. I put that with the drum beat. Yeah, and then I separated them. So now we have the groove. And then I wanted to add a little more character to the sample, so I had these pitch little envelopes. What this is doing is, is it's bringing it from minus 1200 all the way up to normal pitch, so it has a little swing. Uh, then I wanted to add more emphasis to the drums, so I made this little loop. These kicks, they were just to add emphasis to the drums, like just a little more character. They're nothing. These kicks are nothing. They're 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 small. They're they're dumb. Uh, and also, I cut off all the high end, so they're just like they're just there to give the 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 drums a little more oomph. And then this clap is actually because all these dance beats have claps in them. This will this is the only time you'll ever see me using a clap. And of course, it's coming from the J Dilla Launch Seventy Seven drum kit, which I think is illegal, but you don't need to tell anybody. Unless you subscribe, then you can do whatever you want. Anyways, I have all these layers now. So it sounds like this. So if you thought it sounded weak before, it probably sounds still weak, but not as weak. Anyways, the next step to doing a dance beat, thank you for putting quotation marks on that, is adding the open hat on the off thing. Of course, another J. Dilla thing. So... It actually is really uncomfortable and weird. So I added some in, cause that's how it sounds normally. So I added some in. What in does is it like, so what out does is it tightens up the, the end of the song, at the end of the sample and makes the end quieter, like fading out the end. What in does is the reverse. So it kind of makes a reverse kind of sound, which is perfect for layering on top of kicks and adding to that groove. I also play it, um, I drew the mini notes by hand. So they would play off beat, And they'd also end where I wanted them to end. And if they sound a little awkward, if your open hats sound awkward and the groove isn't exactly there, it probably will fit once you've put it into the machine, the playlist. I don't know why I call it the machine. Anyways, it sounds like, it sounds like this. Which sounds right to me. It sounds right to me. Everything's getting full now. But I needed that bass line. That's what's important. I don't know what this is. I don't know where I found this. I think I was looking on like one of those like MP3 WAV sites that are like free funk snare, free funk um, bell, free dubstep drop sound effect, girl screaming sound, like one of those sites. Uh, that's where I found this bass thing. Cause I went to like all my discords and I was like, hey guys, please, can I have a new bass VST? I'm so tired of using my other bass VSTs. And they said, oh, go, go fucking look it up. Anyways, I just, it's just a regular rattling bass line. Oh wait, let me show you the effects I put on here, guys. That's what it sounds like normally. It's like smooth. And I have all, I have these little jumps because this is experimental guys. 
Also because JPEG Mafia has some songs where the 808 jumps up like a couple octaves and makes that beep sound. And I really like that. I wanted to do it myself. So I have these little melodies kind of in here. They're not melodies, melodies, but they add some more character, you know. Anyways, I added some Maximus and that adds distortion. So now it has more character. And I worked on it for a while to get all these little beeps in like actually like in the mixer like i worked on this for like 30 40 minutes so you better like the video okay and i don't know maybe share it or something this is i did a lot i, I learned a lot for this video guys you don't like i've said many times you don't need music theory play it and it and if it sounds right it sounds right don't let the people tell you tell you anything don't let that xqc clip make you think anything okay um i found an impact sound effect while I was looking, for, while I was looking for my, for my uh, bass VST, I found a drum sound effect, um, an impact sound effect for like cinematic stuff. You see that, guys? This summer, you get it. Um, at first, I added an EQ just to emphasize the very specific frequencies that it has, and then I added a second EQ to cut out the low end. This one's kind of dumb. Anyways, it's not. It's not this. It's not this. I pitched it up because that's what it sounds like down there. I don't know why it's playing so quiet. Anyways, I played an octave up higher. You can hear it. I don't know why I added that part up here. That's just a kind of a weird little like tattoo. I don't want to get rid of it because it's like it's like a part of this project. Anyways, you can see that the the, the frequency fits exactly in this stupid little EQ envelope that I did. Uh, guys, don't make fun of me. I have a YouTube channel with 600 subscribers. You guys can't make fun of me. You guys can't tell me nothing. Kanye video coming. Anyways, if you... First of all, this intro music. It's like reversed. It's like reversed. And this plucky bass. I probably should use plucky bass. I was actually inspired by this. I was inspired by this. The crunch of the dithering... That's compression, dude. That's that's freaking compression. Anyways, you go into the game, and the game starts with this, with whatever this is. You hear the thumping. That's the kick, man. Four on the floor kick, man. Classic dance step. Anyways, here. That kind of like stabby stab noise that just transformed into my mind into this. This is such like a baby. Now that I hear it, this is like such a baby version of that. But I feel like it. It kind of gives the same vibe. Wait editor play the clip of play the clip of what the sound what it sounds like once you're in the room because i think when it gets muffled out it kind of sounds like that a little bit more anyways the final thing is another pitch dive yeah just to give it like the whole thing kind of fa has like a drifting like everything's i don't want to say escaping your grasp that seems a little dramatic but it's like kind of moving out of the way kind of feeling just like kind of falling, maybe getting shot in the face, buckshot roulette reference, guys. Um, there's technically more to this beat, like placements and stuff. I didn't do a good job arranging this, guys. I'm I never been one for verses, choruses, phrasing, placements, all of that. I never really understood it, <laughs> but you know that's another thing. Just keep experimenting, guys. You gotta freaking experiment. Um, I'm gonna play a clip of it all in context together. You know, like at Thanksgiving, you get a bite of everything. That's what I'm giving you right here. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, I really hope this video does better than the pre-core video. I'm definitely going to be linking it. I feel like these are similar. M Kanye West to come. More stuff to come. I'm dropping a beat tape like today. It's coming out. It's it's The beat tape's probably already out. It's probably in the description. Also, my music, Apple Music, Spotify, Beats, my email. If you are a company and you want me to... S I'll do anything. And I'll be honest about it. I will not take any sponsorship offers from Cymatics. Fuck Cymatics. Unless you want to give me plugins. I, I'm against loops, guys. I'm, I'm against loops. I probably have to cut down this rant a lot. If I did cut out down the whole thing, I just want you guys to know there were a lot of slurs in there. And I'm really sorry you guys couldn't hear that, but there were a ton of slurs. I'm sorry I haven't been doing some of your uh, suggestions. They've been so underground that I've never heard of them. And I probably have to do like a good couple months of research on them to like get into the artist. And like if I don't have the passion in the beat, I feel like it's not going to turn out as good. And also if it's not a mainstream artist, it won't get views. And that also makes the motivation worse. I don't really, I'm not like demotivated because this isn't that like, um, this isn't that. 
high risk, high level. I don't have ads yet, guys. I would love to have ads. Anyways, I'm going to keep begging for subscribers. I'm going to keep begging for comments. Um, Kanye to come. I'm making a Kanye video. Tell your friends. Get hyped about this. It's going to put my channel on trending. Uh, th so I'll play the full beat for you guys now. Thank you. <laughs>